Okay, now that I've showed you how to go from a circuit to a state diagram, I'm going to show you how to go from a state diagram to a circuit. So here's our state diagram. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a table. And we have two states. So we're going to label that Q1 and Q2. And we have one input. And we're going to label that X. So then we'll have, this is our present state, this is our next state, and our next state of Q1, Q2, and then our output Y. So this is input, and this is output, and we are using a more model state diagram. So we have two states and one input, so that's 3. 2 to the 3 is going to be 8, so we're going to need 8 to come up with all our possible combinations. And our y's. Let's go ahead and do figure out what our y's are. So at state 0, 0, our y is 1. At state 0, 1, our y is 0. At state 1, 0, our y is 0. And at state 1, 1, our y is is zero. So we have one one zero 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 zero. I'm going to go ahead and section these off by the y outputs. So let's figure out our next state q. So let's find zero zero one again, zero zero one, and our output zero is going to the next state 0, 1. Go back to our 0, 0. Our output 1 is going to 1, 0. Now let's go to our 0, 1. When that 0, 1 output is 0, we're going to 1, 1. At 0, 1 and our output is 1, we're going to 1, 0. At 1, 0, our output 0 will give us 0, 1. At 1, 0, our output 1 will give us 1, 1. At 1, 1, our output 0 will give us 1, 1. And same for our output 1 will give us 1, 1. So again, how I came up with those in the Moore diagram, the ones are inside the circle with the state. So 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 is 1, 0, 0, 1 is 1. Our outputs will be the arrows coming out. So we have an output of 0 for x goes to 0, 1, 0, 1. Our output 1 goes to 1, 0, 1, 0 and so forth for all of them. So next we need to come up with a k-map, which is the easiest way to come up with a circuit is to use the k-maps. So we're going to go from present state to next state in our k-maps. So we're going to start with next state of Q1, which includes present state of Q1, present 
present state of Q2 in X. So our next state of Q1, our present state of Q1, present state of Q2, and X. So I'm just going to look down and start seeing where Q1 equals 1. And here's our first one. So this one is not in Q1, so it's here. It's not in Q2, so it's here, but it is in X. So we have a 1 here. Our next one says it's not in Q1. It is in Q2, but it is not in X. So here, and I'm going to go ahead and just fill the rest of these out. I think you guys know how to do this. So this would be a 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. Okay, now we need to do our Q2. So our next state. Q2 which includes present state Q1, present state Q2, and X. So our first one is here which says it is not in Q1. So it is here. It is not in Q2 so it has to be here, and it is not an X, so it is here. And I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of these. Okay, and then next we will do our output Y. Q1, Q2, and X. And Y is pretty simple because there's only two places where Y equals 1. So those are the only two that will have a 1. Which will be here and here. Okay, in a really quick way, what I'm doing right now is just checking that I have just as many ones in this box as I have in this column. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just a quick way to one, two, three, four, five, six. Make sure that I did all these right. Four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, one, two. <coughs> so from this, we can come up with the equation for next state. Q1. So we do our encirculments the largest we can. So Q1 is going to be X plus Q2. And remember, this is present state Q2. And then our next state, Q2, is going to equal X prime plus present state Q1. And then our output y is going to equal present state q1 times present state q2. So now we have our equations and we can uh, try to figure out the circuit. 
so we have q1 equals x plus q2. q2 equals x naught plus q1 and y equals q1 times q2. I'm going to kind of work front and backwards get the circuit drawn because we know that our last gate is an end gate which equals y oh you let me sorry about this this is q1 not and q2 not it's not in q1 it's not in q2 let me prime these sorry about that so our end gate would be knotted beforehand now we also have an x coming in but we also have an x naught so we're gonna have an inverter here also and I know we have two OR gates I'm terrible at drawing OR gates but here's my OR gates I'm not a drawer so in our first OR gate we have an X coming in in our second OR gate we have an X not coming in in our first OR gate we have Q2 well, this is our Q1 and this is our Q2. And they go into flip flops. So Q1, Q2, so we're drawing this first one, X or Q2, X or Q2. Now we're drawing the second one, X naught or Q1. X naught or Q1. And then we also have our Y. Which, of course, if you guys were doing this, the next step would be to make this look a little neater. But I think you can understand how to go from a state diagram to a circuit. Hope this helps.